so hello everyone welcome again to this youtube channel so this is the second part of the demo of apply tools so how we can add our visual validations in our script so first video if you have not watched it yet please do watch the video so that you can get more clarity because this video is continuation of the last video so in last video we covered different type of uh, visual differences that how apply tools capture that and we made project from uh, scratch and these all uh, lines of code we written in the last project so if you haven't watched it yet you should watch it because otherwise you will not able to get it but exactly we are continuing it okay so let's get started so in this video we are going to talk about that how we can set match level uh, via code okay so we can set match level of image comparison via code as well so if you are not aware about the match level so let me rephrase it again so match level is a different type of methods that apply tools provides so that you can have right level of image matching in your testing okay so now how can we get started with that let me write it i dot set match level you have to write it here and then match level and dot and whatever match level you want to set you can set it from here as well so suppose i write it over here content so now whenever i am going to run this test so it is going to set match level as an content okay so i am going to show you demo so before that uh, let's go to the website that we are going to use for the demo so let me quickly move to the website so this is the website that I'm going to use for this demo. So if I refresh it, so you can clearly see that the text of the web page is changing, but uh, not the layout. Let me again refresh it. So you can see the these thumbnails or whatever images are there. So these are also getting changed and also these the text is also getting changed, but not the layout of the page. So suppose I want to do a visual testing of this page and I am aware that the layout of this page is not getting changed but uh, the nature of the application is that these images can be different every time and this text can be different every time. So what type of match level uh, should I um, set it here? So I should set layout match level where which I can check the layout of the page because it would be very difficult to check uh, the content and uh, these images because these are changing every time user navigating to this page so let's go to the code and see how we can get started so now let's make changes in already written script so this is let's give a name uh, demo app and uh, simple dtest and then here i need to put url of application and uh, let's set the match level in the starting itself okay so now because the app is new the screen is new so first time whenever we are going to run this test it is going to capture the baseline we are already aware about it so let's run this script and uh, as expected it should navigate to the demo url so apply tools is going to capture the baseline image okay let's go to the apply tools server so you can clearly see this is uh, the new app that app name that we have given and this is the path because this is first time we are running it and you cannot see any match or unmatched sign here so if i open it here you can see there is no baseline image but this image is going to be used as baseline image next time so let's again try to rerun it okay so again we are running the same script it should be unresolved because uh, the there is change in text every time when you go to the demo url and there is change in uh, the type of images are displaying here so let's go to the apply tools now oh. So this is still running okay so 
we haven't got the result yet but it is still showing the changes let's open that so you can clearly see because of dynamic nature of this page we are seeing these all differences in the images and in the text as well so now if you remember in the code we have set the match level as in content so let's go to the match level and see okay you can clearly see it is selected as in content if i go back and write it as in strict let's again run it and let's check that if it is able to change the match level in the apply tools server so now it should navigate again to the website and if i go to the apply tools server okay this is new one it's still running so you can clearly see that we have got the result and if i open this one and if i zoom it and from here if i click over here and i'll show you the match level it is showing me strict because from the code i have set it to strict okay so now now you understand that your website is going to uh, be dynamic in nature if we talk about the text or the images so what type of match level should you consider for your testing so we can use layout match level okay so let's write the layout match level from the code and let's see if it is okay i have already write it here so if i run it here so now it should get passed why because in this case we are only checking the layout of the web page so as expected it should navigate to the web application that we are using and although it is dynamic in nature dynamic text is there dynamic images are there but because the layout is constant our test should be passed okay so it is still running let it run it should show passed because we are checking only layout so that's how you can set layout from your code as well okay it's taking some time yeah see you can clearly see it is passed why because match level is layout so that's how you can set match level from your code and you can use a different type of match level according to your need because here as an example you can see that we understand that it is dynamic in nature so we can check only layout of the web page so the next thing that i'm going to show you that how you can capture specific web element in the web page if you want to compare only specific web element in the web page how you can do that so let me go to eclipse so now i am again on the same website so if i want to capture this click here link only then how can i do that suppose i want to capture this let me just copy first x path of this link okay so let's go back to the code and here in place of check window you have to put check element okay if i go back you can clearly see check element check frame check region check so there are region in the frame there are so many methods that you can use but right now i'm going to show you only the check element so here you can simply put i dot x path and here you have to put the x path of the expected element so now if i run it it should capture only this element uh, the click here link it should only capture so again it is navigating to the same website so here it should capture click here let's go to the apply tool server can clearly see here captured only click element 
okay so that's how you can do different different type of uh, functions different type of validations uh, using apple tools in your code so that's all from this demo part too so I'll, I'll try to cover more areas in apple tools so for for now if you have any suggestion please comment in comment section so that's all thank you